Hello viewers. Today is the day the Lord has made and we will be glad and rejoice in it. We thank God for another time. This is Pastor Reda from Women in Action. We want to thank God for giving us another time. God bless you all. May his peace continue to be our portion. Shall we share a word of prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for another opportunity to, wait, to be with my brethren. I pray that, Lord, as I bring your words to them, it is my prayer that we shall all be the doers of your word and not the listeners only, that at the end of the day, it will give glory to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, the Lord has put something on my heart and I just want to share with everyone out there, especially my women out there. I just want to, to look at this word, patience. We all heard about patience before. You know, patience is one of the elements in the fruit of the spirit. Patience or long suffering. That is what I just want us to uh, study today. We all heard the word patient before. So before I proceed, let's look at the word patience. When we talk about patience, patience is the quality of being patient, being able to tolerate hardship or problems for a long time. Patience is part of the fruit of the spirit. It's an element. So when we define patience, like I said, it's ability to endure hardship or problems. When you are able to endure hardship or problems in this life, it means you have patience. And that is what we want to learn or study today. Let's move on to general importance of patient that's what i want to talk about in life in general we encounter so many problems so many hardship in our marriages in our relationship in raising of our children with others our co-workers even in the people in the church but with patience we can overcome all those challenges the word of god usher us to live peaceful with everyone. So how can we live peaceable if we don't have patience? That is why today I am here to let you know that we need patience in all our doings because if we lack patience, we cannot achieve the purpose of this life. You know, I mentioned a lot in marriages, in raising of our children, in our relationship with our co-workers, in our relationship with uh, others and those in our church. But today I am going to tackle or talk about the area of marriage. Hallelujah. Women in action, we pray for all situation, we fear no fool. Yes, as a woman who want to be in action for Christ, one of the things or one of the area you need to practice is patient because you can face a lot of difficulty when you want it good that is why today i am here to encourage you so many relationship has been broken so many relationship is down now so many relationship is not healthy because of what lack of patience and today if you're a marriage woman out there, or if you are about to enter, one of the aspects I will encourage you is to practice or exhibit the element of the fruit of the spirit, which is patience. Patience is very, very, very important. So before I proceed on, I just want us to look at the biblical aspects or biblical perspective of patient. So if you have your Bible with me, woman of God, women in action, take your Bible 
if you are not able to read with me that's okay you can listen to me but make sure you put a note too let's go to romans chapter 12 verse 12 how the bible talk about patience god bless you shall we read the word of god romans chapter 12 verse 12 the bible says rejoice in hope patience in tribulation continue instant in prayer that is the word of god rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation continue instant prayer you know as the children of god we always have to hope for the things that christ has promised us but because i've not talking about hope today I will proceed on to the patient. That is our main topic today. Patient in tribulation. I just want us to look at the word tribulation or trials in marriage. Because in marriage, it's a whole lot of things. Like I told you today, the patient is in the patient is broad topic. But today we are looking in the area of marriage patient in marriage and i'm going to talk about trials because the bible says that we should be patient in tribulation or trials hallelujah let's look at trials yes in our marriages we can go through tribulations we are, can go through trials misunderstanding in marriage can be a trial Dealing with a stubborn child can be a trial. Difficulty in relating with neighbors or difficulty in relating with co-workers is also a trial. Difficulty in dealing with brethren in the church is also a trial. And these are all trials and tribulations we go through in this life. But only one thing can solve this problem. The word of God, that is only the word of God, when we practice and we follow. Because the fruit of the Spirit, we know Holy Spirit is very, very patient with us. Why? Because we always quench Him so much. But because patience is one of the, the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, we sin, we do a whole lot of things. We come to him, we ask for forgiveness, and he, al he always takes us back. That is why we also, as Christian women, or in general, if you are not a woman or if we are Christian, listen to me. This goes with all of us, that practicing patience will help us achieve the purpose in life. We will overcome we want to consider patience in our marriage our key verse is ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 i just want us to read ephesians 5 22 it's common scripture for both wife and husband because with this scripture god gave everybody a responsibility or a, a guideline to follow so that together we will live happily in our marriage. We will enjoy the peace in marriage. You know, God knows us. He knows our weakness. He knows how difficult each one of us will be. So before you enter into them, before you enter into marriage, God has already set up his guidelines. And if we are able to follow those guidelines, we will enjoy our marriage to the fullest. It's not only one way or it's not only one person that has to fulfill that guidelines. A man has to do his part and a woman, that, a woman also has to do his part. When we all follow our part, we will never have problem. Hallelujah. But if you're a woman out there and you are en encountering a lot of difficulty out there, I just want you to know that have patience, continue to follow your path, and God will help you. Let us look at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. 
Ephesians 5, 22. Shall we read the word of God? For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wife be to their own husband in everything. Hallelujah. So, I will continue with the men too. Verse 25 of Ephesians 5. Husbands, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having a spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Hallelujah. So in this context, God said, we should humble ourselves to our husband. Ladies, Women in action, action in the area of submission, that is our part. You know, sometimes it is very difficult because God knows that submission is our weakness because we always control our children, managing our homes. And sometimes we want to control our husbands too, but that one will not work because, you know, the man also knows that he is the head of the of the house. And when this happens, it creates misunderstanding in the house. But sometimes women, I think we forget that our husbands are not included with our children. They are our head. We are the neck. We control them by submitting ourselves to them. So when it happens like that, it creates misunderstanding misunderstanding in communication misunderstanding in every area in marriage but today god wants us to exercise patience well you are a woman out there you can also say oh as for the patience i have it to the uh, i have it hundred percent but yes still my husband is difficult he don't understand me. He don't love me. Well, continue to have patience. Continue to pray to God. God will help you. One of the key is to be patient with your husband. Because the definition of submit means to give in or accept the control of your husband. And this is not easy since we all have our pride or ego. It's not easy, but with the word of God, we can learn and practice the patient Christ is talking about, that we should be patient in everything. So today, my point is, I want to encourage you to have patience in your marriage, in communication, in the area of misunderstanding. Just calm down. You know, women, we have mouth. Sometimes we want to express. Sometimes we want to talk more. Sometimes we know we are right. Our men don't talk more, but we talk a lot. So we want to express to the point that our husband will understand us that we are right. But that will create a lot of problem. So women in action, women, that, uh, uh, women in action, a woman, that Christ has called you, a woman that want to build your home, a woman that want to be a follower of Christ, a woman that want to be ambassador for Christ. You need patience in your marriage because it is not easy. That's why uh, there is a saying, marriage is not for children. Marriage is for matured people. But no matter how we will say it, Everybody has different things to talk about. Yes, somebody will tell you, you, you don't know what I'm going through. Maybe yours is different. That is why you're talking like that. It is true. But all that I want to tell you is that that is why we are following Christ. All you have to do is to have the patience. 
That's why I'm telling you to have patience because only the Holy Spirit will give you that patient spirit because there are certain things you cannot fight with your own strength. That is why in a Christian journey, the, uh, in, in, that's why when Christ was ascending to heaven, he really knows that the tax will be difficult for us. So he promised the disciples that I'm not leaving you like orphans. I will send the Holy Spirit to help you. So as a marriage woman, one of the help Holy Spirit is giving us is to exercise patience in every area of our marriage. And with him, everything will be possible. I know it's not easy. Your problem might be different from mine. Yes, if you depend upon the Holy Spirit, he will help you. So women in action, all that I am saying today is that let's practice the patience that the Holy Spirit has commanded us to follow. Now, let's look at the practical areas of patience. You know, as married woman, you know, you have in-laws out there. Relating to our in-laws is one of the difficult things in our marriage. Well, some people are lucky to have good in-laws and some others too. When you mention about their in-laws, it's a whole lot of story. But as women of God, God wants us to have patience. Maybe your in-law don't want to even hear your name or see you. Sometimes some of them, they come home and they don't even want to see your face. All their concentration is their brother or their son. I've heard a lot of story about that. That's why I'm encouraging you that if you are having that difficulties and you are a woman of God, please have patience. With your patience, they will know that, oh, you are really a woman of God. But if you retaliate to their action, it can eventually break your marriage and it can break you. So we know patience is one of the important elements we need to exercise. Because of in-laws, their action, their attitude, the way they behave, it has caused a lot of good marriages to break down. But if you're a woman of God and you know the element of patience, no matter how they behave, you will give everything to Christ and he will help you. Please, let, let us all practice the element of patience. You know, another practical, uh, another practical example is maybe your husband financially doesn't support you very well. You know, sometimes the money that he will give it to you when he come home, he expects a whole lot of mail. Meanwhile, in you, you think, oh, how can he expect, uh, how can he expect a lot while he has given me such a small money? Woman of God, we are there to support them. With patience, you can correct that. Don't fight. If you fight, you will never win. But if you have patience, you will always be the winner. Another aspect is house choice. You know, back home in Africa, our husbands work a lot and we are responsible for the house choice. But here we find ourselves with a different environment where man have to go and you, the woman also have to go to work. So, Maybe your husband still have the mentality of not, you know, helping in a house choice. And because of that, you are impatient. Some of them, they expect you to go to work and do everything. But in you, you want them to support you. Please don't fight. Because no matter what, the house choice is for women. But if we want our husband to support us, we have to be patient and talk with them in love. 
once we practice that patience and talk to them in love, they will understand it. But rather, you just get up and impatiently talk about it, it's not going to work. Please, women, let us control ourselves. You know, if I have to talk about patience in our marriages, it's a whole lot of practical aspect. But today, I've emphasized in the area of house choice, finances, and our children. Please, let us have patience. Let us give to prayer because our scripture says that we should rejoice in hope, patience in tribulation, and constantly in prayer. Prayer is the key. So, women in action. If we really, really want to be action for our Lord Jesus Christ, we need to follow a lot of practical things that Christ has ushered us to do. It is not easy, but I'm encouraging you to depend upon the Holy Spirit, to ask him for help so that we can have patience with everything in our marriage. And once we do that, we will overcome. All these things I've said in our marriage, create impatience. But when we follow the principles of Christ and we allow him to take control and we talk to him about our problems and we also allow God to be the center of our marriage, we will have patience because one of the elements of the fruit of the Holy Spirit is patient. So he will help us. He will help us. Don't give up. I don't know what you are going through. Yes, it is not easy. It is not easy. But Holy Spirit is telling us to have patience. Don't give up. Never, never give up. Stand firm. Pray and allow the Holy Spirit to take control. When we do that, we will overcome and we will have a victorious life in our marriage. God bless you. Now, I just want us to pray for all the women who are encountering, who are going through difficulties in their marriages. Those who need patience to stay in their marriage. Those who also are struggling and they have decided to leave let us pray the holy spirit will give all of us patience to stay and to achieve the purpose of our marriage those also who are now going to enter those of especially our young ladies who don't know anything about what i'm talking about i will also pray with you that as we have talked about patience, when you go, when you enter into your marriage and you see anything that requires patience, you will also turn to the Holy Spirit to have patience to endure. So let us pray. We have no power of our own. We have no power of our own. We depend on you, Holy Spirit. We have no power of our own. We depend on you, Holy Spirit. We have no power of our own. We depend on you, Holy Spirit. We have no power of our own. Father, we want to pray for everyone that is going through difficulty in marriage, in, in 
we, Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to pray for every woman out there, everyone that need patience to stay in their marriage. We pray for patience, Holy Spirit. We don't have power of our own. We depend upon you, Holy Spirit. No matter what difficulty it is, Papa, you are our helper. Holy Spirit, you are our strength. We depend upon you. We don't have no power of our own, Papa. Help us in the name of Jesus. I pray that you shall give us the spirit of patience. We need that spirit of patience to endure hardship. We need that patience to endure to overcome. Father, I pray that grant it to us, Lord, so that to, we may achieve the purpose of our calling into our marriages. We also pray for our young ladies, our young children, our, our young ladies who are also going to enter i pray for that spirit so that when they encounter any difficulty they will remember that one of the elements of the fruit of the spirit is patient and you want us to exhibit that long suffering papa help us grant it to us in jesus mighty name i pray with thanksgiving amen god bless you Women in action, we pray for all situations. We fear no fool. Be action for Christ. Amen. God bless you all. I want to know how this message has blessed you. So please comment, share, and also subscribe. May the Lord bless you. If you do this, I will know how much this message is reaching out to you and blessing you so that I will have more input to give you more. May the Lord bless you. Stay blessed till we meet next time. Bye.